Hi guys, Reviews for Yous here, back with another review for you. This is for the E-Tech City uh, Measure Up uh, pH Meter. Uh, it's the pen meter, it's digital. Uh, I'm just going to go over the box real quick here with you guys. It has the backlit LCD readout, automatic temperature compensation, also known as ATC. It has a measurement range of 0 to 14 pH, and the model number is pH-1011. As Like I said, it's from their Measure Up line. Uh, pH meter. The product features easy to use pen type digital pH meter with electrode. Includes a set of pH 4 and pH 6.8 calibration powders. Now what you use those for is a more precise uh, reading uh, depending on what you, the fluid that you are testing. Um, it's compact, lightweight for portability. Uh, and the specifications here, the measurement range is a pH from 0 to 14. Accuracy is 0 0.05 pH, that's af after the calibration at 68 Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. You use the packet for that and that's uh, where you get your absolute very precise measurement from. Uh, batteries are uh, 1.5 volt or the LR44 button cells or also known as AG13 for them and they come included and they're already installed in the device for you guys. Uh, dimensions are 5.9 inches by 1.3 by 0.8 inches, that's the actual um, meter itself. Very, very compact, very portable. Um, as you can see there, it's the E-Tech City 0.05 pH high accuracy uh, handheld pH pen tester. Uh, that's about it on the box. Went over that guys free real quick. This is the product here itself. Comes in this very handy case. Uh, like I said, it's only about a six inch long case or so, about an inch and a half thick uh, by about two and a half this way. Uh, it's the measure up line, like I've said. Really nice storage case. Um, here is the instructions. I've just got them tucked into the top here for you guys. Uh, and inside that, uh, like I was mentioning, the two calibration powders uh, I've got there. Keep them in a cool, dry place. I, that's why I have them in between the uh, instruction manual there, just to keep them, you know, normal room temperature and stuff. Um, very simple to use these powders. You simply mix them with 250 mils of uh, distilled water. Uh, mix them up until they're fully diluted and that's when you insert your pen in it to recalibrate it. And then there's a screw and a tool uh, that you use to, to get it ready, to zero it out. Uh, and then you're ready to very specifically test those products. That's what these powders are used. It's the buffer powders. And there is two different ones here designed for different uh, things. I haven't read up fully on that yet to fully understand uh, all that stuff. But this here is the, is the uh, instruction manual that comes with it. Just simple design on off on the top. Your battery case, like I said, the batteries are pre-installed. You've got a pocket clip. You have here an adjustment uh, trimmer, which is this little circle here, which you use the provided screwdriver to, uh, to, to tune in the model, I guess, fine tune it. You've got a protective cap over your electroid and stuff like that. You have your immersion level here. I've seen some people immersion, you know, almost halfway up the pen. I don't recommend it. Just do what they say here. You don't need to go any deeper as long as electrode and the sensors and that are in the fluid that you're testing, you're absolutely fine. And it shows where your uh, sensing electrode there is. Um, very simple, very nice, easy to use. You know, thank you for choosing the E-Tech City pH meter. Very nice to see right off the hop. Uh, very respectable of the company. Features, uh, very nice. Specifications, operating instructions. It's all very straightforward, guys. Uh, if you want to pause it on here, I'll try and hold it still here for you guys. You can pause the video and read up on it. I'm a little bit shaky. I apologize for that, guys. Very simple, very well laid out book. Now to the product itself. As you can see, very compact. Uh, it's about five inches long. Nice digital backlit uh, screen there. Your simple on-off button at the top. Your protector for your cathode and stuff like that. Your belt clip or pant you know, whatever you're hooking it on, and your little adjustment uh, screw there for when you calibrate it. And there is the provided screwdriver, obviously, for going in there and fine-tuning it uh, to get the exact measurement you guys need. Um, pull this off here. As you can see there, there's a little glass bulb in there. That is your uh, cathode. I'm trying to do this here. Get this focused in a little bit for you guys. Sorry about that. It looks like it's probably not going to do it. My phone's really picky. Yeah, of course not. Anyways, you can see your cathodes and your sensors and stuff like that up inside there. Yeah, of course. Anyways, very compact, uh, very nice design. Uh, I'm going to just give you guys a real quick test here. I've had a glass of water. It's best to test your, um, your product's um, room temperature. So I've left this uh, glass of water out overnight. Actually, it's been out for two or three nights now. Um, I think I've got about the right amount of water in there. Uh, and you simply just uh, 
slide the button over on the top to the left and it gives you uh, a reading there. It's jumping around right now. It does until it stabilizes. You just submerge it into the water. I'm going to go a little bit deeper there. It shouldn't hurt it. Um, see if I can get this right for you guys so you guys can see what I'm getting here. And usually just wait a little while and let it stabilize. Um, and right now it's showing 8.33, 8. Point, you know, that's the uh, alkalinity level, your pH level of your water. This is just tap water. Um, it's starting to come down a little bit. Like I said, you do wait a little while um, and let it stabilize. And once it stabilizes, that's your reading. Um, it's that simple. I don't know exactly how far it's going to come down here. This is the first run. It looks like it's slowing down a little bit. But you can roughly see that you have roughly an 8.2. 8.1 uh, alkalinity reading on the tap water here where I live. Um, this is reviews for use, guys. Like I said, if you're testing uh, products like uh, fluids and that that need a more precise reading, you use those buffer powders uh, to, to achieve that. Like if you can use it in the lab, it's great for anybody who wants to test their water, their beverages, uh, anything like that. Uh, fish tanks for like aquariums and stuff like that. If you have to keep your alkalinity level uh, and your pH balance just right in your fish tanks and stuff like that. Swimming pools, absolutely excellent for that. Uh, this is reviews for use for a review for the Measure Up pH meter from eTech City. It is model number PH1011. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.